Hey, that's the crappy moped that re that we did the cat hair puzzle so that we didn't have to drive it. The sign says, Lum Mort. Hmm, the beat to crap moped. I wonder who got stuck with it. Uh-huh. Um, maybe the guy who went there and they were like, what are you talking about? You already picked up your bike and then he had to do a whole thing. And... Mosley? What the hell is he doing out here? What the hell are you doing out there? He has a tracker like Madeline does. Oh, hi, Gabe. It's Gabriel, you flatfoot. What are you doing here? Me? Oh, just looking around. I thought you said you were busy this afternoon. I am busy. I'm busy looking around. And if I'd wanted my mother along, I would have invited her, Knight. Okay, all right. Forget I mentioned it. I could swear he's up to something. I just don't know what. Those got pretty steamed. So, uh, why are you looking around here? <sighs> I saw the sign and it looked interesting, okay? The dead man. Now, doesn't that sound like something I'd find interesting? How do you know La Mort meant the dead man? Your French is worse than mine. I saw it in a guidebook. Look, why don't you go catch some kidnappers, will you? I'm gone. Mosley's not on the level. It certainly doesn't seem that way. May as well jot down Mosley's uh, moped license. Okay, I mean, it's a fairly recognizable... Yeah. I guess if somebody switched the plates. Got it. We don't have any reason to want to track Mo's, but who knows? Now we can play the same game where we spy on him and see what he's doing. That's Wilkes' moped. We don't know who Red is. I think that's one of the mopeds from the rental shop at Ren Le Chateau. Can hear Estelle and Lily riding around, I believe. Wonder what Emilio's doing here. Chillin'. He hasn't told us he's a Muslim. Good afternoon, Mr. Knight. Back at ya. You look comfortable. Ah, uh, yes, I'm enjoying the sun immensely, thank you. Okay. That was weird. Do you think he said that kind of weird? Yes. Hmm. Well, I'm sure there's nothing going on there. At some point, I think you can look at... Oh, here's Mosley and Madeline, both with their trackers. Hmm. Well, well. Looks like those two are having a conflict of interest. Very curious. Are they both in the same place? Mm -hmm. We didn't see Madeline at La Mort. Well, she could have got there after we left. No, we saw her looking around, though... I think at um, Com Sword. I can't remember. Um, yeah. So we didn't know what that tracker was. Now we've seen both of them trying to hide the tracker. It's weird. Hello, rock. Look at that texture. <laughs> Looks great. Beautiful. Mm hmm. This is on maximum, by the way. <laughs> Meaning that there was a mode where the texture would have looked worse than that. That, I, I can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. Unless it was just solid gray. And this is a high resolution. But it it's just widescreen. It doesn't really do anything for you. I mean, there's still only like six polygons for the <laughs> entire model. So there's not much you can do with it. 
Um, I could follow Estelle and Lily, but they're not actually going anywhere. <laughs> they just ride around and around, and Gabriel will follow them for one loop and then give up. But at least now we've seen what their moped looks like, so we could, if we see it later, we can write down its license. I wonder who's rented that one. And we don't know about that one. Although, by process of elimination, we think it might be Bukele. Madeline's back in town. Chicken. I wonder what she's up to. Let's go find out what Madeline is up to. This next scene is pretty disgusting. Hmm. I think one of these tombstones says Kurt Cobain. Hmm. I didn't look around. I, I seem to remember something like that, though. Oh, but you are too modest, Monsieur l'Abbé. You've been studying the area for years, have you not? My dear, I'm a man of very simple interests. That may be, but Rennes Le Chateau is one of them. You have stepped into his shoes, Monsieur. You must sense a little, perhaps, of Sonia's secrets. Madeline's being Don't pretty I desperate. Wish, pretty mm. child. Don't I wish? Tell me, have you been plagued with many treasure seekers lately? In the valley, perhaps? You would notice such a thing. A keen man like you. Ah, oh, yes. There are things afoot, mademoiselle. How you make my heart beat. You have perhaps seen diggers? In some particular location? There are always diggers. But those who desire oh, diggers. diggers. I thought she said the goats. Deeper than the soil. Oh, like, which I goats? agree. What? But goats. you are being coy with me. Yeah. I wish to know how many goats. come seeking and how they impress you. Will you not tell me? My dear, I will tell you anything you like. But perhaps we would be more comfortable in my little house. Come. It's really gross. A little bit. Oh, we're still spying? Well, they're going to go into his house. We can't spy on them. Screw him. Oh, well, good. That would be unseemly. Yeah. Yikes. Maybe I should learn something about the treasure. Why were they speaking English? That's a good question. They're both French people, aren't they? You would think that, uh... Yeah. Oh my God! You found a you found a plot hole. <laughs> yeah. I'll go get the Harley. I don't know how you did that. It's very canny of you. Yes. Larry Chester is the expert on the Templars that Abbe Arnaud. That must be Chester's car. Directed us to. Kind of big for a garden ornament. Climb was a command that was possible on that. Climb into the well? Yeah. No thank you? Hmm. I've well, seen the ring. I know how that ends. Most video game wells, though, are not, you know, you're going to have to do something. Hello. May I help you? I hope so. The name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. The Abbe at Rennes le Chateau recommended you as a Templar scholar. Did he now? Yep, he said, go talk to Larry Chester about the Templars. And then he said, and let me know what you think. Well, in that case, you'd better come in. I think he was rendered with a neck beard. Can I get you some tea? No, thank you. Now then, what can I do for you, Mr. Knight? I have a bunch of inane questions to ask you that will not inform me at all. The I... Abbe mentioned that you're working on a book. Yes, I'm a historian. And you're writing about the Templars? Oh, exactly. This area is rich in Templar history. That's why I thought I'd come here to write. He might have it's the a worst kind of sabbatical, now. really. A sabbatical from oh. what? I teach at a prep school in Manchester. Hmm. I yes, read in the museum that several of the Templar founders and the Grand Master were from this region. That's true. They also had several bases here and owned a great deal of land. The Chateau de Serres, for example, was built on top of an old Templar fortress. Hmm. 
Why were the Templars accused of heresy? There are many theories, but most scholars agree that King Philip was jealous of their authority. He wanted to confiscate their land and their reputed treasure. Unfortunately, the Templars themselves helped him make his case. They boasted of the secrets they'd learned in the Holy Land. Secrets? Mystical secrets mm. from Kabbalists and Arabic astronomers. Of course, to Christendom this was nothing but witchcraft. Those who confessed were released. Those who did not were burnt at the stake, including the last Grand Master, Jacques Molay. And they dissolved completely after that? The Knights Templar were no more, yes. That was theatrical. Yeah, it's sort of an odd way of putting it. Madame Girard mentioned that the Holy Grail is sometimes linked to the Templars. It is, yes. In many of the early Grail legends, the knights were described as Templars, wearing the white mantle with a red cross. She said something about them actually finding the Grail in the Holy Land. Do you think that's possible? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> so you think the Templars found the Holy Grail in Jerusalem and brought it back here? Let me put it this way. When the Templars were founded in 1118, there were nine knights. Their stated purpose was to protect pilgrims on the road. But for years, they did nothing of the sort. They were given quarters in the Temple of Solomon by King Baduin himself. There they stayed, and there they excavated for Is this nine the years. On the story? Then, in 1128, they changed completely. They returned to Europe and began recruiting. Their wealth and power grew on an unprecedented curve. So you... you do think they found the Grail? I think you're taking the legend of the Grail a little too literally. As with many things of the Middle Ages, it was often wiser and safer to speak in allegory. What's the Holy Grail an allegory of? I have a feeling that will come to light sometime in the next decade. Why? Was it like classified? Is there the any reason to think the Templars left something here specifically? It's not unknown that the Templars were digging in the region. They claimed they were mining the old Roman gold veins, but they hired only German workers who couldn't communicate with the locals. Naturally, that led to some speculation. The Germans were cheap? <laughs> the Templars had a lot of wealth, right? Gold, money, land? Absolutely. And that's one possibility for the alleged local treasure? The Templar stash? Yes, but... You don't think so? They had warning before their arrest. Perhaps some chose to believe that the church would ultimately protect them, but they had enough sense to move the treasure. To where? There are various locations. Ireland and Scotland have a great deal of Templar history, for example. If the Templars smuggled out their treasure, wouldn't that sort of blow the Grail theory? Perhaps there were some things that were too large or too... Uh, Shall we say, localized to take with them? No, they left something behind in the long dock. You can be sure of that, Mr. Knight. How? Hey, how can we be sure of that? Because you said, because you, a prep school teacher the guy told is us. into so. maps. Mm -hmm. A prep school, that's like that a high school teacher, right? Not as colorful yes. as Larry himself. That's not very prestigious. No. He doesn't even work for a yep. college. He's Maybe a writer, he's in all right. England? Only writers have this many books. Really? I don't think that's true. Check out this it's alarm clock. clock. An alarm clock. That might be important later. Yep, he's a writer, all right. Only writer. That's not true. Only writers have that many books. I have a lot of books. Thanks for all the info, Mr. I don't Chester. Write. You're most welcome. What is your interest in the Templars? Nothing. If you don't mind my asking? No, I don't mind. Thanks again. Speaking of weird delivery. Well. That that was kind of that's supposed to be a joke, I think. Mm. So we're not gonna stop. That was too short. Nightfall, and everyone is back, and we can take down 
Lily and Estelle's license plate. That's the moped that Lady Howard and Estelle were driving around in. It's the only one with a sidecar, notably. Mm-hmm. Pretty large sidecar, too. Well, you know. Yeah, Lady Howard is not petite. And we still don't know whose this is, but like I said, I, I we, wonder who's rented that one. We think it's Bukelli. Later, maybe we'll find Bukelli out and about, but mm-hmm. not today. It looks like the cavalry has arrived. Are you prepared to hear Grace's voice actress? <sighs> Gabriel, uh, are you all right? Why? Is my hair messed up? I'm not. Prince James told me to be expecting you. Is there somewhere more private where we can talk? Yeah, I have a room. Come on up. Here's your fee, Mr. Knight. Prince James wanted me to express his gratitude to you for tracking the kidnappers. Yeah. Have you learned anything since this morning? I checked at the train station. The taxi driver saw the two men in the trunk. They were picked up by a black sedan. He didn't get the model, but he said it looked expensive. Did he say which way they went? They headed for the main valley loop. Anything else? Well, I haven't seen any trace of the baby, but there's a tour group staying here. Most of them arrived last night. None of them are the men from the train, but they might be linked somehow. Emilio Baza and a Signore Buccelli arrived at the hotel around the time of the Paris train. Buccelli claims he came in on a train from Naples, but Cuiza doesn't have a Naples route. It's very curious. We'll look into it. Wait, there's something I didn't tell Prince James on the phone. Yes? When I was coming to on the train, I heard one of the kidnappers say something in French. I remember the word Sangriel. It means Holy Grail. Do you have any idea what the Holy Grail might have to do with Prince James' son? I'm sorry. We're not authorized to discuss Prince James's affairs. But thank you for your observations. Good night. Miss Nakamura, it was a pleasure meeting you. Yes, you, you too. Thanks for the lift. Goodbye, Miss Nakamura. Mr. Knight? He didn't say no. This is a really short step. Damn, I thought we had a case. We do. Well, Prince James let you go. Yeah, that's his prerogative. Wait, but if the kidnappers weren't the night visitors... Who says they weren't? I saw them. There was something not right about them at all. Okay, what about the Sangreal thing? What would vampires want with the Holy Grail? I don't know. Well, McDougal and Mallory sure seem to know. Maybe Prince James has the Grail, and the kidnapping is an attempt at blackmail. I don't think Prince James has the Grail. Look, there's this whole treasure hunting thing linked to this town. I I don't have time to explain. Could you please hook up Sydney and check out the Grail and vampires? Yeah, sure. And, um... (sighs) Looks like you might have to stay with me. The hotel's booked up. Oh. Oh, all right. Um, say, do you mind waiting till tomorrow morning on the research thing? I I have to get Sydney configured, and I am pretty beat. No, that's fine. You must have been really worried. Sorry, Gracie. I'm gonna go keep an eye on my replacements. Bye. I read recently that Tim Curry is not good. Like, he's very unhealthy. He had, like, a major stroke, so... Hmm, kind of. I kind of doubt that he will be asked back to redo the voices for... The voice work for Gabriel in the remake. I don't know what they're doing about Grace. Sir, Bocelli. Did you have a productive day? It was relaxing, Mr. Wilkes. Relaxing? You must not be looking for treasure, then. Nothing relaxing about that. Si, certo. (laughs) I I am a scholar, not a hunter of fortune. Glad to hear it. There's too many damn snoops around here. Are there? Why, who do you mean? Hell, why don't you join me if we're going to talk? I ain't eating alone. 
I don't know where the hell the women are. Like Very a well. Second old table. Mm -hmm. Their thumbs, their hands are like so poorly rendered. Yeah, they're really bad. Everything's terrible. It's hard to remember how how rudimentary the technology was. Anyway, it's in three games they've had three different actors for mm -hmm. Grace. I don't know if they ever settled on anybody. I don't know if they're planning on bringing Charity James back. She's the second one. Oh, no, this Monsieur one. Knight, no. I hope your head is feeling better. It is actually. Thanks for asking. I was looking at the register. Do you remember exactly when people arrived last night? Hmm, let me think. The big group arrives together maybe 7, 7.30, and later, Monsieur Baza... What time? Maybe... Uh, 9 o'clock? No, 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 more like 10, I think. Then you, maybe an hour later, then Signore Bucelli. What time did Bucelli get here? Just after midnight, I remember because the clock chimes at midnight and I sometimes get a bit um, nervous and I lock the door. Um, Signore Bucelli came after I locked it. I had to let him in. Nervous? What do you get nervous about? Oh, Monsieur Knight, we have many old legends in this area. You didn't see two men with a trunk last night, did you? Maybe outside in the parking lot or driving around town? Like mm, elephant men? No, 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 not in town. This is a very quiet place, Monsieur. Monsieur Mosley and Monsieur Wilkes arrived with the tour group, but I do not remember a trunk. Okay, thanks. Did you see or hear a baby last night? No, no, Monsieur Knight, not at the hotel. I hear my niece at home, maybe, but here <laughs> there are no babies staying at the hotel. That's how I talk to you. Yeah. And clicks. Well, there, there are those African languages. That involve, I don't think French is one of those. I doubt it, but the French, you know, had a fair bit of colonization. Of I think it would be smarter have. to give them some breathing room. So if you walk out, you see there Prince they James' go. men, whom you can follow. Where the hell are they going? They look like they're walking toward the church. Anyway, I, I, I think that, I still think, maybe I'm just partial to Joanne Takahashi. I, I thought she did the best job. I wish they had retained that voice actress. Yeah, and it's nice to have an actual Japanese woman play a Japanese woman. I don't know that Charity James isn't. Oh, I don't know that's anything true. about the it woman. Just, you know, James and somebody. I guess I'm what being racist. What are they up to? There's the eavesdrop command behind this mm. very large... What is this? A midget tomb? <laughs> I don't get it. Well, some of them are only partially raised. Like, because hmm. you're lying down at the time, right? So... It's like a small mausoleum or well, something? Well, maybe it's just the above ground part and there's more stuff like below. Like, it's just the entrance. What? Like the stairway goes down? Yeah, I think um, that there's something like that in a Hardy novel. Weird. We. Oui. Because there's yes. always lots of. Oh, no, is it there? We? Oui. Yes. Who are you? Hold him. <laughs> Who are you? Where's Scots? God help you. You are hurting me. Where's the band? I don't know what you. The baby. Prince James's baby. If you've harmed him, I don't know what you are talking about. Last night, Prince James of Albany's son and only heir was taken from his house. <sighs> you don't think we had anything to do with it? That's preposterous. Is it now? Then why were the kidnappers followed to Coiza? Coiza? On the train. Well, I... I have no idea. I swear to you, the order had nothing to do with it. Perhaps you My were order. not informed. No. Well, why would they bring the infant here then? If they were going to do something so, so outrageous, I assure you, they would not bring him to Rennes-le-Chateau. You are mistaken, sir. We find the baby unharmed 
or all negotiations cease immediately. But one thing has nothing to do with the other. Surely Prince James has other... We'll be back tomorrow. You'd better have an answer, Arno. It's definitely more going on with Prince James than he's letting on. His men immediately went and accosted Abbe Arnaud, who basically admitted that he's part of some kind of order. But we don't understand anything more than that. Uh, wouldn't Arnaud see us doing this? You'd think. All right, whatever. Now, you'd be inclined to just follow them because obviously they're about to go do something, but instead you need to wait here because our note is about to call somebody and like he said, he speaks French and we're not going to be able to understand this, so we'll tape record it now and we'll use Sydney to translate it later. So... Hello? Say our no à la barre. There's no point in listening to this now. Let me just fast forward. Suffice to say, it's a very animated conversation. And kind of long. It's really long. Who thought it would be a good idea to make you... Couldn't they do like a dot, dot, dot in there? Right. Yeah. For a conversation... Well, I guess maybe they expect a fair number of French speakers or something. I don't know. Hmm. I guess if it's big in the Canadian market or something, hmm. they, they're they supposed to speak French. We'll just put subtitles there then. Hmm. But there aren't. So these guys uh, helpfully waited until we were done recording that conversation to go to their car. So we're going to follow them. Note this yellow ish mustard ish <laughs> car really poop colored car we will be seeing this car again with its octagonal tires <laughs> yeah that must make for a pretty rough ride it's probably pretty rough the tires also, the are the suspension doesn't seem to be too good gabriel's just standing out there they don't think anything <laughs> of that yeah you shouldn't think he go get the bike while the, they're doing that something Anyway, where could they possibly be going? Oh, they figured out how to go to counterclockwise around. Uh, Magicians. By the way, counterclockwise is the long way for where they're going. So nobody around here knows how to read a map. They drove into Larry Chester's driveway. You know, the traveling salesman Weird. problem can't be solved prob programmatically. So. For... Instead of n equals one, pretty sure that's solvable. You maybe, can't just maybe. you can't just drive into Larry's driveway because they'll see you. So walk over here to Chateau de Blanche Fort, and then walk this path, and then hide behind this tree using the the hidey command. <laughs> And slowly, if I hit escape, it'll skip the entire scene that's about to happen. So we have to watch him amble over there. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah. Why would they be coming here? We only heard this guy's name because our node told us about it. it seemed he was just a prep school teacher. He, why would they be going there? Well, there's danger music, so... Yes? Oh, look at this hand handshake. First they hit their palms together, then they their pinkies. Then they just sort of shake their hands. They do a sort of Vulcan sign, and then <laughs> one of them crushes thumb the other thumb. Yeah, thumb wrestling. And we'll Jesus. see it again. This is the exact same one. Pinky time. So you get two chances to observe this secret Vulcan handshake. handshake. So we will need to... Thumb wrestle. You yes. shouldn't be here. We don't have a choice. See, he hang out with his hat on inside his house. He likes hats, okay? He didn't have it on earlier. It's his skulking hat. <clears throat> for when he's skulking in his own house. In his own house. Yes. Okay, so let's Time try to... to... in the well? Oh, 
time passed. Shoot, they must be in the living room or something. Too bad. Too bad. Anyway, we can't eavesdrop on them. Bummer. Too bad. The guy who does mostly is basically just doing an impression. One more thing. If you come here to the bar, we see Wilkes's bike, and we see the bike that we have not yet identified. I wonder who's here with Wilkes. But as I said a couple other times, we assume it has to be Bukele's. Nevertheless, let's check out for sure. Yes, it is Vittorio. Looks like the boys are out drinking. In the grubbiest bar ever? I can't tell if that's a because of the texture. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be clean wood or... Evening, gents. Out on the town tonight. Ha! What town there is? You had to join us, mate? Yes, please do. Not oh, least. no thanks. I was just driving around and I thought I saw signs of life. Carry on. Right. You can... Oh, by the way, you can hear uh, when the saints go marching and playing. Hmm. There's the uh, the appearance in this game. I don't know why a French bar would be playing when the Saints go marching in. A really slow and boring arrangement at that. There's a weird Easter egg that you can do in that bar if you enable the Easter eggs where it turns into like a weird disco. Huh. It's not very funny. Now we've got everybody's license plate. Whoopee. Mm. All right. Let's go check in on Grace. Maybe Gabriel will finally eat something. I like the music in this game. I think it's just as good as the other two. Finally! There you are. Sorry. Hey, you didn't tell me Mosley was here. What a bizarre coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> coincidence. I'm still not quite sure how it... Hey, I uh, was just talking about the tour tomorrow. Gracie's going. Uh, are you? Actually, it would be a good chance to do some snooping around here. Besides, it sounds like a monumental snow. <sighs> the treasure has got to fit into the case somehow. What people think about the treasure, sure. As for the treasure itself, it sounds like a snark hunt. Right, Mose? I don't know. Gabriel, the kidnappers were talking about the Grail. Plus, they came here. Why would they come here unless they were connected to the treasure? I didn't say they weren't connected. I'm just more interested in the suspects than digging around in the dirt. Right, Mose? I don't know. Well, I am going to figure it out. <laughs> Fine. Now, could we talk about, oh, let's see, the case for a minute? What What's up? What angles do the polygons in Mosley's model come together? Uh, they're, they're really weird. He's just terrible. I followed Prince James's men tonight. Yeah? What'd they do? First, they had a little chat with the local abbe. Accused him of taking the baby. The abbe swore the order had nothing to do with it. The order? Then they went to see Larry Chester out by Blanchford. The guy's supposed to be a British scholar, but Mallory and McDougal knocked on his door and gave him this weird freaking handshake. What kind of handshake? Let's see if I can remember it. Mm -hmm. Five options. Let's see, the first one is they mashed their hands, fists together. Mm hmm. And then they did their pinkies. And then they did like a regular handshake. And then they did a Vulcan <laughs> sign. And then they did thumb war. Wow. Good eyes, bud. It's Masonic. How the hell? Masonic? Apparently. As in Freemasons? That's right, Grace. How do you know it's Freemasons? Oh, uh, you know, uh, as a cop, you learn things. <laughs> yeah, like the location of all the Dunkin' Donuts in town. 
Am I missing something? Why would Prince James send Freemasons down here? Duh. What? Prince James is a Freemason? Well, how the hell would you know, Mr. New Orleans? Well, he, uh... <clears throat> he, he sent the Freemasons down here, didn't he? Well, Prince James did say he thought the kidnapping was political. Could it have something to do with the Freemasons? Hmm. Hmm. If Prince James's men are Freemasons, then what about the Abbey? Who's the Order? Someone the Masons don't trust. Hmm, who's the natural enemy of the Freemasons? Dolphins? You know, I don't think that the Masons are exactly chummy with the Vatican, if you know what I mean. There you go. The Abbey is a priest. Why would the Vatican kidnap a baby? Gracie. I think you have an idealized view of the Catholic Church. I agree. There's got to be more to the Abbey than that if Prince James men acted the way you say they acted. Hmm, maybe. I'll look into it. Hey, why don't we go down and have some dinner? Mosley was trying to talk me into it before he came back. Are you hungry? Starved. Cheer up. Between the Freemasons, the Order, and the Night Visitors, there's got to be a case in here somewhere. Let's have That's some true, Gracie. Life is good. Come on, poster boy. Shut up, Nat. What does that mean? No idea. Poster boy? For what? Ugh. I don't get. I don't get the insult. 